Hello again, welcome to Home Skills. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to do a surface mounted socket. In the second video, I'll show you how to do a recessed mounted socket. I'm going to do a surface mounted socket and I'm going to do a recessed mounted socket. The surface mounted is for the solid walls if you've got it at your home, although if you live in a house uh, past the 60s and late 60s it will be drywall plasterboard so that will be a recessed socket to install in the wall. So before you do any electrical work in the home you must isolate the electricity from the main fuse board so that you have safety in mind. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the tools now that you'll need to do this type of work. Uh, number one, you'll need um, an electrical screwdriver. Uh, you'll need, although it's not imperative, as long as you've turned the electricity off, but you will need a tester to test the cable to make sure that it is neutralized. And you'll need a pair of wire cutters um, all of these which can be bought at your local DIY store. Um, if you're unsure, I'm sure they'll give you information and help you while you're in there. Uh, this, one of the other things you'll need is a level and a utility knife. Um, and always remember to keep the blade closed while you're not using it. Uh, they're very sharp and we don't want any accidents. So I'm going to start to install now and I'm going to install the surface mounted socket uh, first of all, and I'll show you how to install it on the wall, uh, especially in solid wall situation, the plaster plugs that I use and to drill it and to mount the casing on the wall. Okay, so this is the uh, box that's going to go on the wall that will allow us to attach our double socket to. This is called a Patras box, made in plastic, very simple. There's an opening at the back that you can see. Uh, there are uh, screw holes all the way around. What you need to do is to ho hold the box up uh, on a surface and just make your hole very easy. It breaks very easily. You probably only need two. You can put more, but two is ample to uh, secure the box to the wall. The next thing is to slide the opening over the cable and you need, at this point you need to level the box. So use your level and just centre it, check the bubbles in the right place, a little bit of pressure on the centre of the box and just a very faint marking for your screw holes. Once you've done that, just take the box away. You'll see the holes quite clearly, and we need to drill those holes through. Make sure we're going to use plastic plugs to secure the box. Make sure that they are the correct size plugs for the drill bit you're going to use. You don't want the drill bit too big, the plugs will not hold. So just make sure you have the right size drill bit. So then just a nice easy, not too much pressure on the drill. Close off any rough edges and insert the plug into the wall. And just the same, insert the plug into the wall. You need two screws to go in and you can use a hand screwdriver or electrical if you've got it. This is the one I choose. Once again, the Patras goes onto the wall. Line up the holes with the plug and just send the screw home. 
Same thing, just line it up with the plug. And there you have the patras on the wall. Just chuck it for level. If it's out at all, it will move. Okay, here are the cables uncovered. We have a blue cable, which is the neutral, brown cable, which is the live, and the uncovered cable, which is the earth cable. This will need to be covered with a protective coat. Uh, coat. So the next thing to do is to trim away the excess outer cable. You can do that easily with your cable snippers and cutters. So just cut that back and remove that piece. The next thing we do is we need to take off 10 millimeters of cable approximately and just remove that from the actual from the cable that leaves same with this brown and then we need to take some cabling this is green and yellow this is the sleeve for the earth cable now you can see it's always there, always the same colour. So just hold it up so that you've got the same distance as the earth and the live cable. And just snip off a piece and place it over, over the wire. So you've got a nice protective sleeve there for the earth. Now it comes to installing the actual socket itself. So this is a socket we're going to use. If you look at the back of the socket, there will be an earth connection, a neutral connection, and a live connection. They're all clearly marked. They're, the L is here for live, N for neutral they're all clearly marked. You've got an earth cable here and an earth cable here. You only need to connect to one, but you can choose which one you connect to, but you only have to connect one. Now we're going to install the wires. Okay, so just loosen the screws, neutral live and the earth, so that your cable will allow to go into the unit itself. So now we take the first cable, which will be the blue, which is the neutral, put that inside to the socket, and tighten down. Tighten down until it's snug, and then give it one half turn, and that will secure it so that we're nice and tight with the cable. Next one to do is the live same application just live into the socket and tighten down snug and then one half turn now with the earth cable into the socket same procedure Tighten down till it's snug and one half turn. Just pull each one to make sure that they are held firmly. And that's the wiring of the socket. So now we need to do is to slide the cable back into the wall, slightly fold your cables at an angle and push the socket home. So now we offer the screw that will go in to secure the face to the patras. Just start it by hand, a couple of turns, and then with your screwdriver, just screw it down. It doesn't have to be too tight, just enough to hold it in position. Same on this side. Just 
send the screw in, snug, no tighter. And you can test it, switch on the electricity, switch it on, you are ready to go.